iPad covers. To most of us, it's just a way to protect our expensive investment with the hopes that when we do upgrade and move on, we're able to have a decent resale value with the investment we made on the tablet and able to get some of that money back to purchase the new upgrade. But to others, cases and covers are just a way to express their creativity. Hi guys, this is JPI Tech here. And in this channel, you know, we always talk about how to make the best use of the tech we have in our life for cheap or better yet, free. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the interesting designs and choices that we have for iPad cases or covers. Regardless of the design cover that you go for, they pretty much cover these three cases. They have either the magnetic one that you just slap on the back of the iPad and close it up and there you go, you're all done. But they're also the bulky ones that usually come pair with a Bluetooth keyboard or some sort of typing device. And the third one we have is just forget about protection. I just want to decorate the thing, just dress it up with some stickers or a skin. That's what they call them now, but they're pretty much stickers that wrap around the body of your iPad. Recently, I've been experimenting with this origami style cases. Well, it's not really a case. It's kind of like a origami foldable stand that just sticks to the back of your iPad Pro. Now we're gonna get back to this cover or this stand later on in the video. First, let's talk about my experience with the different cover designs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I'm still on the fence to decide what kind of protection I wanna use on my iPad Pro. You see, I understand, I see the usefulness of having a bulky, very protective case that's rubberized and sturdy and it's gonna protect your tablet no matter what. You even have a keyboard to be very productive and type. Yes, that is all great and dandy. The thing is, I found myself using that case only when there's a sturdy, strong surface where I could place that case on because of the design that it is, the, the way it folds open. The tablet is not really secure and if you're tr gonna type on it that's gonna make it even more flimsy so you need a hard surface to lay it on top and then you could type away and don't even think about sitting down on the couch or on the sofa with that thing on your lap because this is not a lapable like a lap stop style case with keyboard this is not that and that's why i only found myself using that case whenever I was sitting down on a hard surface when I was going to do long uh, study sessions or I need to type a long document or a speech. At those times, yes, I use that case and keyboard. But then again, the keyboard is magnetic. So I could just use that keyboard without the case and it'll be still work the same way. I'll still need a desk to put the keyboard and the iPad on. So pretty much useless in my opinion. And that is not even mentioning the fact that this thing is bulky and heavy. So you will feel it when you put it in your camera bag or carrying case, whatever bag, backpack you're using, you're gonna feel it. And in my case, since I use a camera bag, yeah, it barely fits in there. Now, on the other hand, they are the skins, the D brand style skins that just wrap, decorate well your tablet, they give it a nice design and whatnot. It's very personalized. I love that it's so lightweight. It makes your tablet just feel so bare and so light that you just wanna use it like a real, well, paper tablet. Just walk around jotting notes and whatnot. It's so easy to handheld. You know, I really feel like this is what an iPad was designed for, just to carry around your arm and taking notes while you're doing your work, being very productive. It makes the whole experience feel like a real, paper tablet but i just can't shake that feeling that you know that feeling you get that gut feeling when, when i slide that thing in my camera bag in my backpack i'm just scared that whenever i throw the camera on the floor or bump it or maybe even the pressure or the weight of the camera bag i just can't shake the feeling that it might bend or just scar the ipad so that's why skins are also ugh. Even though I do have a skin on my, a cheapo skin on my tablet, I'm still not relying on that as a protection, but I love how it looks. And the good thing about the skins is that regardless whether you have a skin or not, 
you're still able, well, most of the cases, you'll be able to use whatever other case you want to use, which brings us to the next case, the magnetic style. Now, usually these magnetic style cases have like a rubberized or a, maybe a fake leather material. And these are generally very light, thin, but they do have a amount of protection because it does have layers that just wrap around your tablet. So it has a pretty good balance between weight and protection. And at the same time, still thin profile, so it's stylish as well. So personally, I find myself using this style of case most of the time. So probably this is my favorite one. The good thing about this style is that the front flap of the case folds into a triangle and it creates this base that is really cool because you could actually use it standing up mode. You know, if you want to watch some media, uh, use a keyboard and it's you can tap on the screen and it won't or tip over. Could also flip it upside down and use it as a pro low profile stand. And then it's easy to take notes and write. So it definitely is great for those artists out there. Now, finally, there is the origami style stand that I mentioned and talked about in the beginning of this video. Now, yeah, definitely have to admit that design caught my attention. Pretty cool. It's like a stand, but it disappears in the back of the tablet. I thought, hey, why not give it a try? And I got the cheaper versions and the materials look great. The color is awesome. Goes well with my black. I have the whole Batman theme. You know, I love black and matte black. It just looks really nice. But after applying, following the instructions on how to install it and where to place it on the tablet, basically this thing is pretty useless. Anything softer than a desk, that thing is just going to tip over. Doesn't matter what it is, a mattress, a bed, the carpet, anywhere you put it even <laughs> yes i know i said the carpet it's not gonna hold it's not gonna stand on the landscape style on portrait yeah it was great but on landscape it, it just kept tipping over anytime i try to touch the left side of the tablet it'll just tip over on that side so i figure i'll have to move readjust the position of the the stand and i put it more towards the center and yes that did help with the tilt the tipping over problem but that also raised the base when I go in the portrait mode, so the angle got affected and it got really, really slanted. Now, while it doesn't tip over, it's really awkward angle that it stands. So it's like, you gotta pick your poison, really. If any of you guys have ever tried this origami style covers, can you just, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Is this like user error? How am I supposed to set this thing up? I have no idea. I have tried positioning that thing in so many places and it's always give or take. Either it's gonna fix the landscape but affect the portrait or I could have a nice straight portrait style but it's gonna tip over in landscape. So I just couldn't get the thing to position perfectly where I could use portrait and landscape. So. Those are my two cents. I love the, the idea of it, but I, it's just not productive. It's just actually a burden and a pain. So I just took it off. So guys, in conclusions, you guys could pretty much tell that I'm just sticking with the good old magnetic cover cases. Those are just the best all around for your iPad. They're light. They provide a amount of level of protection around your tablet. They're very practical. It's just a great, all around design, multi-purpose. They are so cheap. You could get so many different brands in Amazon that they're very cheap. Now I'm gonna leave in the description the brand that I have purchased so many of their covers because I trust them. I love their design and materials that they have. The stickiness of the magnetic force is really, really strong and nice. And it stands up straight and firmly so i'm going to leave that in the description down below check it out i will have amazon links down below and hopefully they ship international i don't know but you have to check with your country but i'm sure you'll find similar brands in amazon or ebay now if this video did help in any way i would really appreciate your guys to thumb up what do you guys think which cover do you guys like or use in your daily life i would love to know and uh yeah, what else is there to say? But thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys on a future video. 
So don't forget to subscribe to let you know when that video does come up. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.